Marine and former pillar in the East Tennessee rugby community died in a car crash a few weeks ago. Reese Hawthorne was only 22 years old. Caitlin Keenahan shares how his family is helping his legacy live on through the sport of rugby. It's not a popular sport in the United States, but the rugby community in Bearden wants to change that. Everybody has to work together for a common goal. You don't have a lot of singular stars that just break out and blow everything away. When you do, it's it's fabulous. Reese Hathorn was one of those unforgettable players. Singularly, probably the best kid I've ever coached as far as tackling goes. It did not matter how big he was, Reese was going to take him down. Reese's sister, Taylor, watched him grow in strength through rugby. Reese was one of the most unforgettable people that you could have ever met. He was so fiercely loyal and dedicated. Nobody expected a car wreck would take his life. It was a massive shock for us because you see this happen to other people and other families and you never expect that it would ever happen to yours. Although Reese is gone, his family and rugby community are keeping his memory alive with a Memorial Rugby Scholarship. We only have one team here. We have to travel everywhere to, for competition. Expenses is one of the biggest factors that deter kids from the sport. Taylor says Reese wanted to change that. I know that he'd be um, so excited to see the name of rugby spread throughout East Tennessee. In Knoxville, I'm Caitlin Keenahan. Oh, Reese also served our country in the Marines. His family said rugby helped give him the mental toughness to do so. So far, the community has raised nearly $20,000 for the scholarship in his name.